We are live. Good evening. It's Nezlover. Welcome to my stream. Hello to all my creepers. Hello to all my stalkers. Hello to all the lurkers. Hello to every single troll, great and small. Hello to the ever-diligent and faithful Thumbs Down crew. I salute you for staying on task. Hello to everyone who comes by tonight. And hello to everyone who may or may not watch the replay later. Good evening, everybody. Moo Moo! Hi, Moo Moo. I didn't know you were coming tonight. I'm so sorry, Moo Moo. I didn't get a notification. I thought you were skating late. I put black gesso on my I'm so sorry, Moo Moo. I love you, BFF. I'm so damn sorry. Please forgive me. I hate missing anything of yours, especially your streams. So please forgive me, honey. I'm, I'm so sorry. White Witch, hello. Good to see you, White Witch. I got your mail. And I'll be going to the bank tomorrow, and it'll be going to good use, and I'm going to the post office tomorrow as well. So, a few things will be able to get sent out manana, so that's good news. I am feeling better tonight than I was last night. I knew I'd get through it. I was having depression and anxiety big time. Still having some, but not to the level of last night. I'm feeling much better this evening. Thank you. Stoner, I love you. I'm sorry I missed your thing today. Please forgive me. I love you. Hi, Cousin Margie. Hi, Jim Adams. Hi, Jim Brentar. Hi to Mary Kay. Love you, love you, love you. Oh, thank you all for being here. Thank you. Again, Mumu, I'm so sorry I missed so much of your stuff. I hate when it doesn't give me notifications, but at least I did have a chance to charge up my phone as well as get a jump start on what we're doing tonight. Spirit in the Sky Blue, hello. How you doing, honey? Good to see you. I caught your uh, video about your fruit in your garden, and it looked really good. My daughter and I both love melons. It looked yum, yum, tasty. Jim Brentar, speaking of tasty, what was for dinner tonight? Yes, White Witch, I agree. She did a wonderful video of, of her garden. I'm still drinking the Cidral Mundet apple soda that I did the review for K Dog earlier today and uploaded that. Hi, Ox. Hi. Thank you for coming on in. Ox, I agree with every word you said about. Uh, uh, I call him Tronald Dump, so <laughs> I'm right on board with what you were talking about earlier in Moo Moo's stream, 120%. So that being said, let's get started with our fart therapy for the evening. Oh, Jim! Oh! I'm so sorry. What happened? If, you don't have to tell us if you don't want to, Jim. I'm not trying to be, you know, nosy and overstep my bounds. But if you feel comfortable talking about it, I'm sure we'd all love to know what's going on with you. And uh, prayers for you, Jim, anyway. We don't have to know. The Almighty knows what's going on with you. So I love you, Jim. If you want to talk about it, talk about it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Still be praying for you and love you all the same. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you're not in the ER now. I'm glad you're here with us right here, right now. So, aw, Jim. Colitis. Well, Jim, what do you think it might be? What are your thoughts on the subject? Perhaps some of us may have had similar problems and might be able to help you out. It could be, you know, lots of things, so. Oh, ox! God damn! <laughs> He's talking about colitis and you're going there. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> 
Ox, how high are you? What's your problem tonight, Ox? Are you too high or not high enough? What the hell's going on? <laughs> Feels more like muscle or joint pain. Hmm. Well, how in the hell do they confuse that with colitis, number one? Those are two totally different sensations. Um, but then I'm not a physician. I don't know. So, well, Jim, I'm glad you're not the girl with colitis. God. Aw, sweets. Hi, sweets. I'm glad you came on in. That is so effing cool. The Swedes say hello. Well, I say hello right back to you, Swedes. I just did a review of the Cedral Mundet Apple Mexican Soda for K-Dog, and I mentioned you in that review. They're Swedes, so... In case you haven't tried it, please do. Hello. I did send you a text or two the last night or two. I was hoping you weren't being disturbed by a text in the evening, but it's earlier there than it is here, so hopefully I didn't, you know, disturb you. Was not my intention, so. Give me just a moment here. There we go. Oh, well, I'm happy to hear that, sweets. Happy to hear that. There we go. Look at that pretty blue. Ooh. I like that. Well, I hope you're doing well tonight, sweets. We're happy to see you. I think Lion said something about going live this evening. So I'm going to not keep us here too long because I'd like to charge up and be able to hang out. <laughs> What's going on, Jim? No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we're going to just be chill. Yeah, we're going to be chill, and that's okay. Nobody here has got any problems. We're good. We're all good. So, nice and chill. I'm so happy you guys are all here. After things that I've been through personally, uh, uh, oh my lord, I'm just happy you guys are here, and I'm happy to be here with you all, so. But, but Mr. Brentar, we'll be thinking of you and lifting you up in prayer and sending you happy, positive thoughts and all of that. Um, I hope they get to the bottom of what you're particular goings-on is here real soon. Um, yeah, colitis and muscle pain sound um, like uh, two different things to me, but again, I'm not a physician. I don't know. I'm not sure what my mother would have to say about that, but I would certainly be doing some research and seeing if I couldn't find out a little bit more about those things and seeing what kind of natural remedies and such could be used as opposed to chemicals and poisons, so. Hold on just a minute. Oh, goodness sakes. <laughs> yes, that is a calming blue. I wanted to do nice, calm, mellow blues tonight. I'm sorry I missed the BFF Moo Moo, but uh, that gave me the chance to do the black gesso and the white preparation work for this flower here right now so at least uh, you know the time was used productively and I uploaded the review for K-Dog so excuse me I have two more things to review for him as well I like dedicating my soft drink reviews to K-Dog my most favorite stalker in the whole wide world. I'm looking forward to actually having a video chat or a phone conversation with him at some point too. Yes, sweets, yes, that's very true. 
He'll be seeing his mum and his grandmum and having himself a wonderful time. I'm very, very proud of him. He's getting to use the money he's earned with his creative endeavors to fund this trip. And I can't wait to see. I know damn good and well that he's going to be making videos while he's there. And I've just got a feeling that he, if he's able to, he just might surprise us with a live stream from somewhere in Europe. I just got that feeling. You know, I could be wrong. I don't know. Just got the feeling. I'm not saying he'll do it every night like he's been when he's here. Because I understand, you know, you need a break and all of that. But I'll bet you he might might surprise us with an impromptu European paint stream. You never know. Seems like something he might be of a mind to do should the mood hit him. So I hope he does. That would be awesome. I don't care if it's in the middle of the night or early in the morning. Yeah, I know. I want to see him do the ollie. On, um, I think Mr. Brentar said something about doing an ollie uh, at Abbey Road. I think that would be cool. Hi, Sherry Sherry. Uh, Chad, I, I don't think the kilt would, would, would be a fit. It would kind of just fall on the floor. I think Mr. Jones would need a... Uh, a kilt a little more fitted for his his uh, size so but I think he would look good in the kilt I don't think he wants to go there with the kilt but you know whatever for the record I think he'd look just fine in a kilt I forget what the name of the little man purse is that go goes with the kilt <laughs> Yes, the Swedes do say hello. <laughs> no, Ox, he said something about taking his board. He is going to take his skateboard. I think he checked and he's allowed, so. I believe the skateboard is a go. Last I knew, yes, Sporin, yes, that's right. White Witch, thank you, yes. I call it the man purse, so. I believe so. I believe so, yes. There's Moo Moo. Moo Moo, I'll get up in the night and early in the morning to watch you do an impromptu European painting live stream if the mood hits you. You bet I would. Just give a lady some notification, would you? I don't care. I'll hear it. It'll be worth it. I'm usually up early with Diane anyway, so... You bet. I would love to see a European paint stream. Hi, Paula. Hello, hello. Ah. <laughs> Stoner. Stoner, where in the hell do you get that awesome little emoji? I don't know where you get it. I can't find it. Nice to see you, Paula. I sent Mr. Tim Breaking the Shell, Tim Tim Timmykins, James the Fam, sweet cuz, a little private message on Twitter to him and Michelle and, and uh, well, I call him Secret Odin because that's, he likes to go by his channel name, I think, their son or Michelle's son or whatever. But uh, just let them know, hey, miss you guys. We're thinking of you, praying for you. So, had to show some love towards Tim's way. I miss seeing him. I miss hearing him and all of his goings on. So, now let's see. This blue looks different on the camera here than it does here live and in person. Live and in person. This Brilliant Blue by Liquitex looks a little bit more like a lighter robin's egg blue, maybe a slightly greenish blue, but I'm seeing here on camera it looks um, a little more like a, a darker blue, so 
I don't know if I'll upload anything. Yes, I know, Mumu. I'm just allowing you room for spontaneity, and you never know what might happen. And we love and support you no matter what you do, so. I'm just saying, if you get up the, the wild hair in your butt to do it, just do it. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the morning here, or, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Don't feel constricted by the time difference. You know, you, you give a person some notice, I'll be there. You bet. I wouldn't want to miss that for anything. I want you to have the utmost freedom as possible. Thank you, yes. And even if you don't go live, we're all going to love to see you uh, vlogging and, and your footage of you doing your thing there in Europe. Yes, yes, I miss Tim. Aww. I miss Timmy Kins when he's not around. Yes, I do. I can't help it. Oh, well, there's nothing left in that tube. Ooh. Okay. Different tube of paint. Primary blue or Windsor blue? Well, since we're talking about England, let's do Windsor Blue. Fortunate, hello! Fortunate Adventures. Very nice to see you. Thank you so much for coming by and joining us this evening. Ha! I'm trying to think if I have any other requests of where I'd like to see Mumu do his skateboard thing. Uh, I want to see it in France, of course, in front of the Louvre. Uh, Got to get the artist in front of the Louvre. I would like to see, I agree with Jim Brentar about the Ollie on uh, Abbey Road. But I'm trying to think, is there any place else? Well, you know, the standard touristy places, certainly, you know, the Colosseum in Rome and the Leaning Tower of Pizza, you know. <laughs> if you go to Venezia and Italia, then you can, you know, always ollie over a gondola or something crazy like that, so. Are you going to Deutschland? Are you going to Germany? You know, I don't know every stop of your European tour. So, it's kind of hard to make requests when I don't know exactly everywhere you're going to be. Oh, well, good night, Paula. Hey, Lion! Hi, Lion. I'm not going to be on here too long. I want to save up the energy and charge up a bit and join you as you go live later this evening, God willing, so. But I wanted to get this beautiful blue flower started tonight with all of you. <laughs> Angel Bulldog, hello. Good to see you, Angel, thank you. Thanks for catching the review, too. And I love cheer wine. I think Roland's gonna send me one. I've had it and it's delicious. I would love to be sent another cheer wine. But I really want the uh, New York Seltzer uh, black cherry that he just did the review of. Me and Roland agree on the 80s things quite a bit. And that's my favorite too. Yes, indeedy. There, look at that now. There we go. Good night, Paula. I love you. Paula, I may have to wait and send your bigger painting, but I'll try and get uh, oh, some of your smaller things sent out here soon. So we're getting them, get things ready to go to the post office tomorrow. A few people are getting things sent out tomorrow. Sherry, Sherry, I've got your envelope right here in the queue. So. 
Everybody say good night to Angel. Angel, don't forget to say a prayer for Richie as he drives around in his crazy ass Richie mobile. Join me in prayer for the big guy. Thank you, thank you. I'll poop myself if he actually ever shows up for a live stream. And he might. You never know. You just never know with the old Richie. After the way he acted last year on my birthday, God only knows what he's going to do. What's he going to do this year? Makes me wonder. And it makes me wonder. It does. It really does. Wish Lone Eagle would show up and prove all to all of you guys that he's real. And I'm not making him up. Yeah, I've been with him a little longer than that, Angel. Not much, but a little bit longer. Yes, that's true. Before I ever had a channel. Before I ever even thought I would have a channel. Just listen to the old Richie. He's a big guy, too. If I meet him, I'm going to have to stand on a chair and give him a hug. I heard from Jason tonight. He's excited and be starting school. and I can't wait until he can come visit. I just don't want things to be so out of control here that uh, his dad would be uncomfortable with him staying here. I think as long as things get washed and laundered and packed and sealed up, he'll be okay. And as long as he's sleeping on the uh, beds with the metal frames and not touching the wall, I think he'll be okay. So, Diana gets a bit more than me because she plays on the floor. And I think if they're in this building, they're like maybe in the walls or on the floor or something. But I walk around on the floor and I don't get it. Uh, I very seldom get a, any bites anymore. I think it's mostly was the furniture that was in here. And if there's anything left, they're probably in cracks in furniture that's still here, but not very, very heavily. But still here, and I'm still pursuing action. Uh, it's still not appropriate and not, not safe. And so I'm going to see what... Um, I did call the health department, and they told me they don't cover things like this. And I need to either speak to the owner or um, maybe talk because children are involved, speak to children's services. So I'm still pursuing some kind of action as to uh, what can be done about having to live in this kind of condition vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Coalition of Housing's uh, placement of us here and all of that. So, yeah. Yeah, I know, Sherry. I think they're just here. I think they've been here. Uh, they knew they were here. They gave us literature on them in a folder when we moved in here. Uh, and, the full, and the literature is nothing more than make sure you launder everything and keep things sealed up. And blah, 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 blah. Well, yes, I know that. And I've done that and I do that. But if we're still getting, if my daughter's still getting bit, that tells me they're still here. So, uh, and I had a bunch of the furniture removed from here. And that helped greatly, but not completely. So obviously they're still just here in this building. So, me too, Sherry, I've heard that too. Uh, Ox was here, I thought, Lion. But that being said, Sherry, um, you know, it's embarrassing. You walk around, you've got bites like that, and they don't, you know, of course people know what they are. Uh, people think you're poor and gross and filthy and dirty and every nasty thing. Uh, we didn't pick this place. The Coalition of Housing put us here. This was supposed to be safe, clean, transitional housing as I look to find permanent housing, not move us in and a special needs child into a place where there's biohazardous, biting fucking things here. Not cool with that at all. So the health department's not willing to do anything. Uh, so moving onward and upward, I'll see who I can call tomorrow. And, uh, you know, it's not nearly as bad as it was when we moved in. I told them to take the, a bunch of furniture out, and they did. But they're still here, and my daughter's still getting bit, and that's not cool. So, And I don't want my son getting bit. 
<laughs> yeah, they hide in the daylight and come out at night. Yep, yep, I've heard all that too. That's why I've always got to keep some kind of light on. Um, it helps if you keep the place cooler, so the AC's got to be cranked all the time. I constantly, constantly have to launder and uh, uh, all the bedding every night I rotate. So we use fresh, laundered, hot from the dryer stuff every night. That helps greatly. You know, all the clothing gets... You know, we're not wearing anything that's been sitting anywhere. I haven't used anything uh, like the dressers. I won't do it. I can't even have things sitting out on shelves. Everything has to be bagged up, boxed up, sealed up, uh, just to be on the safe side. So all that is a lot of work, but, you know, it's, yeah, it is terrible that the, is it Sherry? I might have to get some. Uh, but all that being said, um, it's worth the effort. Yes, Mumu, I just watched that before I, I got here to do my stream, and it was cool. But, you know, I'm nearing the end of the month, so kind of running out of money to buy this and buy this and buy that and buy that. You know, we're, we're getting close to our limit, and, um, yeah, so... And I've gone through so much uh, money in laundry soaps and bags and sealable containers. And, uh, you know, so we're not walking around covered with them looking like diseased lice people, you know. We're not spreading them everywhere we go like people probably think by looking at us. But uh, it's it's a lot of work to maintain and and keep things, you know, as safe as they can be for Diana. You know, so, my goodness. Oh, thank you, White Witch. Okay, Lion, I'm not going to be on here for a whole hour. I'm just starting this flower tonight, and I like where it's going so far. And I know I'm not going to finish it tonight. I want to take my time and do a beautiful job on this. I like how it started out, though. And all of your energy's gone into this. Good night, Lion. I'll see you soon, God willing. Pardon me. But Sherry, yes, I'll look into the, that uh, special earth blend. I know you can get it at some places around here. Thank you, White Witch. Thank you so much. See you a little bit later, Lion. Yes, I like how this flower is starting out. So, you know, yes, and Mumu, yes, I love the poop video. Absolutely. It was funnier than I thought it was going to be just by looking. And truly. I, I, and I like just the look of it. And then I listened to it. I'm like, oh, my God. That was better than the, the other one, I think. Well, maybe not better. I'm not going to say better. It was a little different. But it was still damn funny. So I'll give you that. Okay. Let's have a little look and see where we're at so far. I'm pretty satisfied with the blending of the blues in this. I really don't want to do too much more to this tonight. I'd like to let this sit and then work on details. Yeah, Sherry, I know it's not expensive, but I've got to finish and get her what she needs for her school. Um, I've got her clothes and everything all set for for that, that's no problem. But I gotta make sure I have the rest of what she needs to start school. You know, they have a checklist. Uh, go to St. Martin, they have all the list of the schools and grades and what the, each class needs. And I've gotta make sure I get all of that. And that we've got the rest of the groceries we need for the month and et cetera, et cetera. So we're, we're just about hitting our, our uh, monetary limit for the month but we're we're we still got a little bit of breathing room not much but a little thank god we've got a little bit of breathing room so we're okay thank you cousin margie yes i think the blues work together very well oh sunny girl thank you sunny what i need from you if you can email me tonight um I will have my email up 
in the comments after this video, this live stream is, is uploaded. And I need you to give me your address because I'm going to the post office tomorrow. And you're one of the people, you and Sherry Sherry have waited a long time to get your things. So I'm going to send you, uh, and you guys, you have small things. It's not going to take very much to mail out what I've got. But if you could please email me tonight and give me your address, a safe mailing address for you, Sonny, I would appreciate it. I want to make sure I have the proper information. Okay, Sonny, thank you. Thank you very much. Sherry, I have your information. Your envelope is already, um, is already addressed. And I've got another person or two who's made some purchases. Uh, somebody from Blind Views, part of the YouTube, uh, purchased a, uh, the pink and purple floral, and I'll be sending them that. So, uh, yep, I'm going to send a few things out tomorrow. Good night, Jim Adams. I love you. So, Sherry, Sherry, you'll be getting some of the things you, uh, not only paid for, but, uh, some, a few extra things and uh, some stickers as well will be headed your way, Miss Sherry. Thank you so much for helping me when I needed it, Sherry. I appreciate it. Uh, yes, good night, Jim May. But Sunny Girl, yes, please, please give me a safe address to mail what I need to mail to you. Absolutely. And in that email, I'll make sure you have, I'll email you back and let you know my mailing address. So you're welcome, Sherry. You're welcome. Like I said, I can't do everybody's stuff all at once, but tomorrow I can feasibly do something. So, God willing, should everything go to plan. So, oh, Well, thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate it. Jim Adams, I'm glad you came. Thank you, Sonny. I appreciate it. I just had to scroll up and and make sure that you got what I was saying. So I think I'm going to stop here for tonight. We're going to let this dry. I'm very pleased with how the colors blended. They look very petalish and well blended and appropriate. And uh, we'll let that sit. And then tomorrow, God willing, we will continue on with that. Um, Sherry, it's a two-bedroom. Um, there's a, a few closets, not big ones, not walk-in closets or anything, but both bedrooms have the longer uh, closets with the hangy pole on it and two shelves. Um, one bedroom is big enough for two twin-size beds. One bedroom is big enough for one. Uh, small bathroom, small ensuite bathrooms, uh, sink area. Um, the biggest part is the living room slash dining room area, and the kitchen's not that big. So. Good night, Ox. Ox, I hope to see you at Sherry's. Um, well, it's not my vacuum, and they're... Uh, tight asses here and they give you a bag vacuum which will just blow it right back out so I'm not necessarily worried at this moment about uh, sweeping it up I want it to do its job when I can afford to get a decent vacuum cleaner which won't be until next month then I don't have a problem getting something with an appropriate filter where I can feasibly vacuum that up without causing a problem. But I'm not going to try and vacuum it up with the old style bag, going to blow it right back at you, cheap ass vacuum. No, that'll just make a bigger mess. Not going to do that. So that's my plan. Yes, and uh, yeah, and I got to try and do that while Diana's not here. I don't want her breathing that. So. I'll have a little window between coming home from work and her getting home from school to do something like that. So it'll take some doing, but you know, it'll get done. Moo moo. 
Oh, Moo Moo. I'm glad you're here. Moo Moo, again, I'm very sorry about tonight. I did not get your notification. I'm not bullshitting you, sweetie. And whenever you want to chit-chat, Moo Moo, I'm chomping at the bit, man. I, I need to chat with my BFF. You told, you said to keep hammering on you, to keep reminding you, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep on it, like Blue Bonnet. You bet. I'm, I'm ready. I'm there. So when it's good for you, Moo Moo, let old Nez know. So I'm telling you in front of God and everyone. Yeah, I've had... Um, a lot of problems with uh, notifications. Uh, okay, all right. Well, I don't want to go on too much longer. Thank you, thank you all for being here. We're gonna stop with this painting right now. We'll continue, God willing, tomorrow night. Moo Moo, whenever you're ready to talk to me, I'm ready to talk to you, live and in person, on the phone or Hangouts or some. I'll leave that up to you. All right. Thank you, um, Sunny Girl. Thank you, Sherry, uh, for the advice and the help as well. Uh, you know, I really would hate to have to move again. I just can't wait to feel settled and be somewhere where it's not craziness going on. Oh, my God. Thank you, Sunny Girl. Sunny Girl, I'll make sure to put my proper email up here in the comments when this is uploaded. K-Dog, go look at your review, buddy. Reviewed that apple soda from Mexico. I love you. See you guys all soon. Remember, love one another. Forgive one another. Find someone tonight to be your love victim and tell them you love them, especially if it's been a while. I'm not sure who my victim will be tonight, but it's nice to have a choice. Love you all. God bless you. Good night.